Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out our video. Today we're going to discuss what someone can do if they're in the States on an F-1 visa and they receive a job offer from a U.S. employer. So like I said, the scenario applies to someone that is currently in the United States on an F-1 visa and they get a job offer from a United States employer and they're interested in taking that job. Um, again, my name is Dan Nass with Orlando Visa Lawyer which is an immigration law firm that provides services across the entire United States. You can call us, email us, or contact us on WhatsApp. And today we are going to talk about a scenario where someone is already in the United States on an F-1 visa, and they receive a job offer from a United States employer. What can they do next? What they can do next is they can begin the PERM process. They can apply for an EB-3 visa status so they can take that job and they can work on that job. Now, there are a couple of steps to this. So first, the employer needs to go before the Department of Labor. And what they need to do uh, first in front of the Department of Labor is they need to obtain the minimum wage that they can pay the worker for this position. It's called the prevailing wage determination. And basically what the Department of Labor does is they're going to look over all the aspects of the job, all of the requirements, and they're going to tell the employer, they're going to say, you need to pay this person at least X amount. They can pay them more, but they can't pay them less. Once this is obtained, the recruitment process begins. And this is a requirement the Department of Labor has where the employer basically has to shop the job around to United States candidates. Um, so candidates here in the States, they're legally, they're already in status to take the job. They have to shop that job around to them in the recruitment phase. Depending on the job, there may be more or less steps to this. Again, it all depends. But then once you have that, you can apply for the PERM. So the PERM is basically an application you submit to the Department of Labor and um, it goes over all the requirements of the job and then the Department of Labor certifies this PERM application. So once the PERM is certified, that's when you go to USCIS for the so-called immigration piece of this process. So. Before USCIS, you're going to need to, of course, present this, uh, the certified PERM um, and other evidence showing that you meet the requirements for this visa. Now, what are some of those things? What, what, what is the rest of the evidence? What are other pieces of evidence that, that could be required? Well, there's going to be requirements for the job. There might be experience requirements. There might be educational requirements. So you're going to have to show that you meet the experience requirements and the educational or any other requirements that were listed on the PERM application for this position. So what are some things you can do ahead of time? You should be doing this early in the process, by the way. You should be doing this before you file the PERM application. Well, if there's experience requirements, you should get uh, letters of certification from former employers saying, yes, you did these things uh, for so many years or months or whatnot. Um, if you have a bachelor's degree in another country, and one of the requirements is a bachelor's degree, sometimes other countries have three-year bachelor's as opposed to four-year bachelor's degrees that we have in the United States. You might need proof of that bachelor's degree and um, an educational equivalency evaluation. Um, showing that your bachelor's degree is the equivalent of a four-year bachelor's degree in the United States. These are all things you need to keep in mind, and it's good to get going on these things early because you need to have that squared away before you begin this process because you don't want to get all the way to the immigration piece and then you um, find out you don't have the evidence showing you meet the requirements. Because that PERM process takes more or less, the Department of Labor process takes more or less 12 months. So once you get to the uh, USCIS piece, you've already invested some time in this. So you should do this early in the process. Now, next what USCIS would do is they would approve you for the status. They would approve you for the EB3 status and you would be allowed to work in this position. But it's important to note you cannot work in that position until you are approved by USCIS. You cannot work in that job. You cannot work until you're approved by USCIS. So that's important to remember. Um, 
again, um, F1 in the United States, F1, uh, you're staying in the United States on an F1, you get a job offer from a U.S. employer. Um, you can you can go forward and start the perm process and apply for an EB3 visa to take that position. So on the next video, I'm going to discuss a different scenario uh, where someone is in the United States on an F1 visa. They get a job offer from a United States employer that they want to accept, uh, but they go back to their home country. This process is a little bit different. We're going to discuss that next time. Again, my name is Dan Nass with Orlando Visa Lawyer. If you have an F1, if you're here on an F1 visa and you've received a job offer from a U.S. employer, give us a call, email us, or contact us on WhatsApp. We'd be happy to schedule a free 15-minute call and discuss your options.